Thank you for your company for the Global Stampin' Video Hop. My name's Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. And for this month's theme, we are using the mini catalogue 2021 for our inspiration. So I've got here some scraps and some cut-off pieces from the Dandy Garden Designer Series paper. And I wanted to concentrate on these colours with the Misty Moonlight and the Bumblebee. I'm using soft suede with my blending brush because I just wanted to soften the edges of these pieces of paper. So just going around the edges and to create a slightly vintagey look and to just take away any starkness from the white. So once I've coloured all my pieces I'm just trying to lay it down to figure out where I want these pieces to go because I'm going to create a patchwork effect onto this A5 piece of card. I'm not too fussed about any overhanging pieces, I just want the pieces to be mixed and matched. Then once, I, once I've sorted that out, I just go ahead and glue all the pieces down. Like I said, we're not worrying about any overhanging pieces because these will be trimmed down later. I wanted to make sure there was um, enough mixture of the blues and yellows. So once this is all stuck down, you can go ahead and just trim the bulk of it off. Sometimes it's easier with these smaller pieces just to use a pair of scissors to take off any uh, overhanging bits that are tricky to reach if you don't have a flat edge. Once I've done that, I'm cutting these down to a smaller matten layer at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And now I have two pieces to work with. So I just wanted to fill in that small white gap that I had left over on one of the pieces of the card. This is easily filled in with one of the little scraps and then just cut down. So these leftover pieces that I have here, these can be used on another card. They're big enough to be able to use to make another scrappy card. So bringing in my Misty Moonlight ink and the Dragonfly Garden stamp set, and these are the two dragonflies that come in the set. Stamping one of the images. I'm going to do this twice, so I've got one for each card. Then bringing in the next image, I'm going to overlap that first image. It doesn't matter which dragonfly you use first. One of them has got a, a solid body and the other one has got the um, outline. So the reason for overlapping it is because they fit together nicely and I just eyeballed it. If you want to be a bit more specific then you can actually line it up in the stamparatus. But it just gives a double layer to the wings. I'm bringing in another blending brush here and just lifting off the ink from my stamp to give a bit of colour in the centre of the dragonflies and then doing some colouring above them for when I come to punch out my images. So turning my punch over to see where I'm going and just lining it up with the bulk of the dragonfly's body and then just popping those out. So getting it ready on my card, I decided I'd like to add a bit more on there with some stamping. Sometimes I think we uh, forget that we can actually stamp onto our designer series paper and this just adds more detail to our finished product. So we're sticking with the same colours, it looks all very cohesive and still in keeping. So stamping that lovely meadow stamp set onto the stripes and then grabbing my confetti flower punch to punch out some of these tiny little flowers. By putting my hands on top it just stops the confetti jumping everywhere and it helps you to be in control of it a bit more. A top tip I got from my sister Ruth at Artful Stampin was to just move the punch along slightly and if you align it and move it over you can actually get another set of punched flowers out from those in between gaps where you've just punched from. Sahara Sand is my card stock of choice today. I wanted a neutral colour, just something to ground the paperwork that we've been working on. 
and I'm sprinkling on the flowers. I've got some idea of where I want them to go roughly, but by sprinkling them on, it gave me a bit more of a random look to it, and then just adding a few more to fill in any gaps. So using my pickup tool and my Tombow glue, hand in hand, I could just stick the flowers where they landed. The dragonfly wings have been popped up on one side with these mini dimensionals and then for the rest of the body I'm just going to go ahead and use some glue to stick it down into place. Just going to add one little flower at the end here, just to complete that look of it, the flowers coming off the card. And there's our first card finished. Okay, for the second one, I knew I wanted to finish using up these other little dragonflies on my card. Uh, but before I do, I want to again use some stamping. So getting that flower meadow stamp set again and just tucking it up in the corner on the blue stripes this time. And using my paper to just mask off the area that I don't want to get stamped. Then using the brush that had the soft, not the soft sea foam, sorry, the, uh, the suede colour, soft suede. My mind's gone blank. <laughs> and I'm just brushing the edges so that it's got that brownish uh, vintage look around the edges that I'd cut. So I'm going ahead and sticking on these dragonflies. Annoyingly, I've got ink on my fingers, which is very typical. So I'm just tucking that smudge underneath the previous one. I decided for this one I would just keep the flowers onto that paper and create a row of smaller flowers using the confetti punched out, punches, punched out, punches, I don't know, you know what I mean. So then just to finish the card I'm bringing on these in colour embellishments, these lovely uh, dots and sticking them three in a row on the side there. I couldn't resist but to add the... Um, other colour, the bumblebee colour, onto my other card and just to make them both look similar. So these are the completed cards. It's a great way of being able to make two cards in one go with this fun patchwork effect and then just adding on some stamping and then some embellishments afterwards. So using Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, the Dragonfly Garden stamp set, the Confetti Punch and the, oh I've forgotten the name, Dandy Garden. Is it something like that? Designer series paper and of course the in colour embellishments. Please do carry on with the hop in the description below. You'll see the li link to the next person and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribing for more videos.